You know, for me, I think the main headline should be about Ramsey's agent and not Ramsey. Who is his agent? I don't know. You tell me. That guy has made one of the best deals ever that you can think about. Who in this world would have thought that Ramsey is going to get 400k per week? Nobody. Absolutely nobody. The main headline on the newspapers should be how the agent managed to get that kind of deal. How on earth did he even get it? How did he grab it? Let's get our calculator out and calculate that contract. 400k per week. Yeah? Amounts to 1 million. 600,000 pounds per month. Now, tell me these guys. The agent should be the headline. Not Ramsey. Absolutely no Ramsey. If there was an award for best agent of the year, it should be Ramsey's agent. Believe you me. In fact, they should even create that award because there's been some ridiculous sort of signings and transfers that's happened this, this season. You know, Polio is one of them. In, in Barcelona, you know, all these guys, they should actually find out who their agents are because, man, they've got some sweet, sweet mouths. As for fans having a go at the guy that, uh, yeah, he's a money grabber, he's a this, he's a that, I've talked about this at the beginning of the season, that if it was them, what would they do? I mean, if it was you, what would you do? Let's watch this video. Guys, don't blame the bloke for wanting more money. If it's you, what would you do? I mean, let's think about it. The market right now is so messed up. Everton just bought Richarlison for 50M. So I'm sure Ramsey is thinking, ah, I better cash in. I'm going old. Yeah, so don't be hypocrites because if you are in his position, you're going to do the same thing. And don't forget that he said he wanted to deal with Arsenal. So it wasn't like it's entirely his fault. Arsenal pulled out for whatever reason. And let's be honest, truth be told, he's 27. Every single player has got like an average um, playing time of 15 years. When they're 27, they're thinking about the next big deal they're going to get. And apparently the agent was thinking about him and of course himself because he's going to get a percentage of the cake. So as far as I'm concerned, he's got a good deal for himself and I can't blame him for that. Simple. Juventus, Juventus, Juventus. Uh, I don't think Juventus did a bad deal. Yeah, I sound stupid saying that, right? No, I'm not stupid. Let's picture this for one minute. If Aaron Ramsey was under a contract, yeah, they're probably going to be buying him for, I don't know, 50, 60 million, right? Now, the deal that he signed is a four-year deal, which amounts to about 80-something million across four years. Now, if they were going to buy him when he was in a contract in any club, his value is definitely going to be around 50 to 60 million. And then his wage bill, probably 20 million across whatever years he's gonna sign. So if you accumulate that, they've thought about it that look, it's better for us to give him this salary because if we're gonna get him for from a club when he was under a contract, it's probably gonna to amount to this amount. So they've thought that far, you know what, we're not really losing anything. So it's not a stupid deal for them, but it's a good deal for Ramsey. It was probably a normal deal for them because if you look at the salary wage bill of some of the players and you calculate how much they're paying those players, across the four years, including the amount of money they paid to sign them from their clubs, is going to amount to a lot. So it's not a stupid deal. A lot of people haven't thought about it that way. And this is one of the things that they need to focus on. Focus on the cumulative amount if he was to sign when he was under contract to Arsenal. So they're going to put that into account, really, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, one last word of advice really is don't be a hypocrite. A lot of people are hypocrites in this world. It's really, really unfortunate, but that's the way the world is. They just always want to look for the negatives in anything that is positive in life. You know, try to throw shit on people. It's really unfortunate. But I'm going to end with this as usual. Lovers will be lovers. Haters will be haters. I'm out of here, guys. Cheers. Hello, guys. I'm really glad you enjoyed that video. And one more thing you have to do for me, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, please. And while you subscribe, make sure you click the bell icon as well, not to miss any of my videos. Thank you very much, guys. Bye. <laughs>